so here we are again. We've gone as far as mapping out our network and preparing the Unify controller on a Linux container in our Proxmox server. Now, let's go ahead and adopt this within our network. It'll be interesting adopting this to an existing network, but it's a new network that has no clients, no nothing within Ubiquity because it's all on the native uh, controller. So let's see if we can do this. And here we are in our mess of a dank corner here. We've gone ahead and plugged this into the UPS. First, we want to go ahead and plug in our ethernet and we're gonna plug it into what? Let's try uh, WAN. We'll do put it into the WAN one, give it power. We've got lights. This thing will light up white when it starts booting. And now let's jump back over to the cloud controller, see if it sees the network or the network sees it. A couple minutes later, it didn't take very long. You can see that we got this little icon that popped up down here under system log and we can see our USG is ready for adoption. It has the default IP address and the MAC, MAC address here. Now I was also logged into to the router and I don't see I don't see that MAC address in here. I do see UBNT. It's given a 10.0.0.4. So that's my existing IP scheme from the Xfinity router. So I pulled it out of the WAN, I plugged it into the LAN, and now I've got this device here that uh, popped up. So in the LAN port, not the WAN port, LAN 1. Go ahead and hit adopt device. I seem to be having issues. I did a factory reset already. Now there was no... One device was removed. So let's refresh it. Yeah, so now it shows adopted few devices. There we are. Why do I have a yellow tag? Pending adoption. Let's click to adopt. Yeah, I, I had this issue before with some access points through um, the controller. Adoption failed. Yeah, it's gonna, it's just gonna sit there and give me issues over and over and over. All right, well, I'm gonna go do a factory reset again and try to get it to adopt. So I'm wondering if because I'm on a 10.0.0 range, and this is trying to adopt a, that shouldn't be an issue though. It would just be a different IP scheme. I'm gonna try one more time. This doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm gonna go uh, do a factory reset again. And yeah, see, it's there again. All right, let's go do a factory reset. Later. Let's try this again because we did a factory reset. I refreshed the controller here. So if we go into, we can see adoption failed. If we go into advanced adoption, let's try the default credentials nope not working at all nope none of this is working at all whatsoever and i can't putty into it either just sits there and does nothing so how can i get into this thing all right let me figure this out and i'll be back eventually this has been more of a pain than i had hoped it would be it just continually failed adoption. It wouldn't wouldn't pull, and I have a feeling that's because it's a different IP scheme. So essentially what I did was pulled the device out of the network, brought it to my daily driver here to the desktop, plugged it in directly from my ethernet on the desktop to the LAN port on the USG and put in the IP address. I wasn't able to get to it in PuTTY, which is weird. Put the IP address in the browser and I'm able to, essentially this is what popped up and it's saying unable to connect to the internet. Please check your configuration, yada, yada. Okay, fine. That's not what I want to do here. So under configuration, we could leave this as DHC DHCP, but I think I'm going to try to change 10.0.0.15 and we will not make this the DHCP server just yet. I'm just going to keep connection type as uh, DHCP, leave all this alone. Uh, the IP address, we'll do a uh, .15. Do not make it a DHCP server and hit apply. The LAN IP has been changed. You may need to reopen this application at the new IP. You may also need to release for new DHCP on your client machine. And I'm going to unplug this now and plug this plug primary network back into the main machine and plug this LAN port back into the router 
which really I guess I could just plug it into the switch. Either way, I'm gonna plug it back into the router, then we will refresh all this and try to adopt it to the controller. <sighs> uh. All right, this may be a good sign. Now it's glowing blue, it was white before. Again, just plugged in the LAN port, moved it from, uh, from over there, changed the IP address, and we'll see how this goes now. See if we can get into it from the controller. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, well, as you saw, the controller is now glowing blue, so hopefully that's a good sign. IP's working again, or this is, this is all working again. Let's go ahead and hit refresh. Let's try this again. It's still showing the old IP address. And now it's telling me to factory reset the device. What in the fuck? It's not managed by another console. It's not managed at all. I just pulled it out of the fucking box. Two hours later. I'm about done with fucking ubiquities. I'm gonna do what it said and reset the device again. And if that doesn't work, guess what? It's going in the fucking trash. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. All right, here we are again. Pop back up, click to adopt. Adopting. Adoption failed. So I'm gonna end the video here because I'm getting pretty pissed off about this. I had this issue before, it never adopted to the network. And then I got it to adopt to the network and then it kept dropping off of the network. Just because my IP scheme doesn't match, I'm not gonna reset my entire fucking network. No, I'm not doing it, I'm done. I'm done with Ubiquity. I'm gonna find a different router to use that has a central dashboard for management and maintenance. What the fuck, Ubiquity? Uh, yeah, Unify is not gonna be within my home network. I'm done with this shit. You make it very difficult to adopt devices into the controller. It's supposed to be drag and drop, one click. Fuck that, it's not. There's other options out there and I'm gonna find what they are and I'm gonna use them. And I'll make a video about it. So. If you got this far in the video and you learned something today, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If this is the kind of content that you like to see, consider subscribing. If you see something that I did wrong, please tell me in the comments down below and uh, I'll take that into consideration. But in the meantime, I'll probably just blow this Ubiquity device the fuck up. Thanks for watching.